KOCO5.com as well as your KOCO5 mobile app. Marginal risk remains across Oklahoma. That is a slight risk as you go down to Texas. There is a tornado threat that we're going to have to watch between now and about 10 o'clock. It is considered very low. Our tornado index right now is listed at a one from Stillwater to the metro down to the south and southwest. We are going to see these showers go up along a front and they will rotate a bit. Also produce some gusty winds and at the highest end here, nothing bigger than quarter size hail. So we are going to watch it as we go into the overnight, especially south and east of I-44. We'll have some clusters of cells here that are going to be anywhere from, uh, say, south and Norman, towards Shawnee and Seminole. Those will continue to make their way down to the south here. And once again, the threat for severe weather is quite low with this as it marches down to the south right after midnight. Otherwise, let me show you what we're watching for the next few hours for this evening. Isolated storms east of I-44 with a low hail and wind threat. Tornado risk is very low. It's not zero, but it is considered very low. For the metro, if we get storms nearby, they would be wrapping up by midnight, which means you don't have to worry about hearing the sound of thunder waking up in the middle of the night like you had last night. Highs tomorrow, mid to upper 70s. And then there's another chance for storms. There's actually two waves that we're going to watch for tomorrow evening from 6 o'clock and well into the overnight. Marginal from uh, Ponca City, El Reno, western Oklahoma, out across the panhandle. So our tornado threat for tomorrow evening is going to be way out across far western Oklahoma. But we'll continue to watch it, plus the climbing severe weather threat that I see as we head into early next week tonight on KOCO 5 News.